Welcome to this short video that I'm creating just because I didn't find um, any clear tutorial about this uh, and it's really simple but I don't know why uh, it's not that easy to find. So uh, the topic is how do I use chakras in ROS2 because in, uh, in ROS1 we use the chakra.py um, to process chakra files as if they were URDFs, but in this case, uh, ROS2 doesn't doesn't directly do that. Or at least in the examples that I found uh, around, it, it wasn't clear. So uh, I just wanted to post this on the web, just in case someone uh, runs into the same problem I did. So you have a quick and easy solution here. So let's get started then. Uh, so. You can see that um, I have this already running. So as always, I'm using the BoxBot example. Um, I'll use this in uh, in my next videos for uh, um, a more in-depth topic that uh, we'll talk about in the next video. But basically, in this first step, I wanted to be able to use chakras in uh, in ROS2. So let's have a look how I did it. So how do you do this? So we start with uh, a launch file here, box car, well, this packages, I'll post the, the git in the video description. And there we go. That way you can see me, my lovely face. So there we go. The first thing is that I leave the git in the video description uh, and you'll have all the code that I'll post in this uh, tutorial and in the next tutorials. And basically what we have is we have a, a box what launch that we launch the world and we, launch, we spawn the robot, okay? The start, we won't go into details, it's just to start the world in gazebo. And what I wanted to show you here is how we are doing the spawning. So the basic um, idea is that when you use chakras, you have to import it and it's very, it's highly probable that you'll have to install it. To install, you'll just have to do um, this. So sudo apt install uh, ROS, in this case, foxy for ROS2 and then chakra uh, because in my local computer it, it wasn't installed here in uh, rosds it is installed already so if you use the rosec you won't have to do this but basically we import this chakra and then what we're doing is processing the the um, chakra file so that we have essentially a urdf file um, so what we're doing is we do we get the chakra file that we have in the this one the description robot and then here the box bot chakra as you can see is a basic simple chakra and what we're doing is we are processing so we use this chakra process file and the path to the chakra file once we have that, uh, it's more or less done already because once we have this, we convert it to XML because this is like an object. So we convert it and this, the, this robot desk, uh, it's the contents of the URDF file that was generated by processing the chakra file. I can show you right here what it is. So I'm printing it so that we can see it. So when we are launching the simulation, we are printing the content of that variable, which is everything. Basically is all the chakra converted to URDF. Yeah. And in a minimized fashion like that. And that's more or less it. So once we have it, then as you can see here, I'm printing it and then we launch two nodes. We launch the, um, 
there's spawn boxbot that I'll show you in a minute what's doing and then the robot state publisher that has as input this robot description so good then uh, once we have this in the spawn box bot is it's a little tricky script but you won't have to understand what's it doing because you will use it for everything uh, and it's just to spawn an object an entity in gazebo now when we use ROS2 uh, and here what we're doing is getting the the argument the first argument which is the all that data that I showed you and we put it in content and then we do a, a request for this service spawn entity and basically we give that information and it spawns the the robot that we have here and that's it I had just a small detail that it may be relevant for some of you so when I was using the um, the differential drive for some reason it didn't work uh, out of the box and that's because in ROS2 version it has changed a bit so you'll have to be careful on these parameters so check it out if you're using differential drive and um, just copy paste this and change the the joints and the radius of the wheels and separation and yeah that's that's about it so thanks a lot for watching uh, I leave in the video description the Rosject, the git and probably I'll post um, a ROS answers with this answer here so that you have a written form that's it and thanks for watching peace